Welcome to the 11th annual Dancing with the Athens Stars, presented by our champion sponsors, Classic City Orthodontics, Neil Pylant, DMD, and Alpha Chi Omega at the University of Georgia. Special thanks to our advocate sponsors, Carol and Paul Kurtz, Joanne Kono, Rick Tarleton, the Kelly family, the York family, Macy's, Janssen Pharmaceutical, Piedmont Athens Regional, Flagpole, St. Mary's Healthcare System, the Classic Center, Silver, Silver and Archibald, Trinity Accounting Group, and Jimmy and Margaret Williamson. And now, our hosts for the evening. Mandy Ballinger is currently serving her third term in the Georgia House of Representatives, where she chairs the Juvenile Justice Committee and serves on several other committees in the House. She is Speaker Ralston's appointee to the Georgia Commission on Family Violence and the Georgia Child Fatality Review Board. Mandy has been instrumental in furthering Georgia's law dealing with domestic violence and has been widely recognized for her legislative work on this issue. Professionally, Mandy began her career working for a domestic violence shelter and later served as the founding director for a child advocacy center. She now works as a business consultant and resides with her family in Canton. Her co-host tonight is Deborah Gonzalez of House District 117. Deborah is an attorney, mother, and advocate for social justice. Her work in the legal field covers media, technology, and entertainment through her legal firm, D. Gonzalez Law Group, LLC, and Letterbox Legal. She gained national media attention when she won her seat in a special election in November 2017. Her legislative work includes protection of children, including health care and education, protection of working families, including living wages and non-discrimination, and protection of victims of sexual harassment and domestic violence and other forms of abuse. She is a published author, most recently, of Managing Online Risks, Apps, Mobile, and Social Media Security. Deborah comes from a military family and moved to Georgia 11 years ago from New York. And now your hosts, Mandy and Deborah. Thank you all for joining us tonight to see some fantastic dancing and to support Project SAFE's efforts to end domestic violence through crisis intervention, ongoing supportive services, prevention, education, and advocacy. Founded over 30 years ago as a volunteer network of safe homes, Project SAFE has expanded over the years to better meet the needs of Athens and our surrounding counties. One in four women currently in the United States experience physical or sexual abuse by an intimate partner. So tonight, we need your help to continue all the vital services of Project SAFE. Let's raise the most money yet for this effort. Since 2008, this event has netted over $1 million, funding expansion of Project SAFE's emergency shelter and other... Yeah, give yourselves a round. Yeah, awesome. Emergency shelter and other services ranging from counseling to housing assistance, client advocacy to education, and a statewide domestic violence dating text line. You are the ones that made it possible. So let's do it again. The teams performing tonight are competing for the coveted audience favorite award. That means they raised the most money. We'll have an adult team winner and a youth team winner in that category. People have been voting online for several months now for their favorite teams. But tonight is the final night for you to vote. We'll have two intermissions during the show to give you an opportunity for that last votes. Each vote costs one dollar, so the more you donate, the better chance your favorite teams have to win this fantastic award. Project Safe volunteers will be in the lobby and walking around wearing blue aprons to take your donation. And there's another set of trophies we'll award tonight for adult and youth teams, the judge's favorite. That means the best dancing. So let's introduce our distinguished judges. Our head judge is Tanya Duga. With a background in accounting, corporate governance, and human services, Tanya and Peter Duga opened TSAV, a woman-owned technology systems integration staff and support company in 1996. She and Pete are the proud parents of Maya, Will, and Virginia. Tanya holds degrees in accounting and dance therapy and performed for several years as a member of CORE, Concert Dance Company, and the Young Choreographer Series. Tanya has studied and taught ballet, 
tap, modern, and contemporary dance. She continues to share her love of the art form through her community and service work with Project SAFE. Tanya, we appreciate you contribute your skills tonight. Our next judge is Sean, Sean Butcher, a two-time bronze medalist in this competition, once as a star and once as an instructor. Give it up for Sean. He is an alumnus of the University of Georgia, where he majored in history and education and did not major in dance. He is, however, married to a dancer, so his knowledge of dance is, by proxy, quite vast. Sean is the general manager of the Porterhouse Grill and president of the Downtown Athens Business Association. He also sits on the board of directors for Dance Effects Incorporated. He's never been terribly judgmental, but plans to make an exception just for tonight. Finally, our special guest judge is April Ross. A graduate of Emory University School of Law, Ms. Ross has been a member of the Georgia Bar since 2011 currently serves as a senior assistant DA for the Fulton County District Attorney's Office. While working on trial preparation for the Atlanta Public Schools cheating, cheating scandal, the youngest attorney assigned to the case, she filed for divorce from her estranged husband. On April 25, 2014, he shot her in the face, arm, and back, leaving her paralyzed from the chest down. Since her return to the DA's office in November of 2015, she has revived the Domestic Violence Policy Unit, working with a team and community partners to reduce domestic violence and related crime by advancing legislation and spreading awareness, including an appearance on the television show The Doctors and peer mentoring at the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, in addition to regular speaking engagements. so much. Tonight, you will see 10 teams who have worked tirelessly for months on their routines. Before each team dances, you'll see a short video that was taken earlier this year, so you can judge just how far they have progressed in their training and performance. 